Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at adding uh, Google Fonts to your N5 output and this is using the new feature in 1.5, the resources section. And the cool thing about Google Fonts is that it integrates all of your uh, different types of font files that you need to use in order to be compatible with every different type of browser. And so it does this all for you behind the scenes. So it's a really great tool. Um, it's, it's very similar to Typekit. Google Fonts is free, so we're going to show Google Fonts in this example. But you can do basically the same thing with, with Adobe Typekit. So basically, I just started by browsing the library here. There are hundreds of Google Fonts. I picked out a couple of them, and I downloaded them. That's a little hidden here, but there's an arrow, a downward arrow, and I just clicked that and clicked the zip file, downloaded that, unzipped it, installed it on my system. And uh, same thing with uh, the second font. Just click this button, download the zip file, unzipped, and install the font. And I actually needed to install the font so that it would show up in my character palette here so I could assign it to the text field. So here I have two text fields, um, each with placeholder text showing off these fonts. So this is what they look like when you have the font installed and it's working. And uh, then when we go to run this, show you the trick, we'll go to file, export HTML5 within 5. And uh, you might think because we're using Google Fonts to embed fonts, we choose the local font embedding, but we're actually not going to embed the local fonts because we only get one format. The advantage of Google Fonts is that it kind of packages all of the font formats together for us so it'll display on any device. So we're just going to stick with the WebSafe fallback fonts and let Google do the hard work for us. So we do that by going to the resources section here and I'm going to switch back over to the browser and for each font I'm just going to scroll down to the import and you can see here I've selected the hyperlink in between the quotes here and I'm just going to hit command C to copy that and come back over to N5 in the CSS area here I'm just going to hit the plus sign and hit command V to paste it in and click add and I'm going to do the same thing for the other font just scroll down hit command C to copy this making sure not to get the quotations in there and plus sign paste and click add so I've got those in there and that's all I need to do I just click OK and now N5 is gonna process all the font data here export all the characters and when it's done here I'm just gonna close the dialog and switch over to my browser so there it's done I'll switch back to Firefox and here's what it looks like and it's a pretty darn close match the InDesign file uh, I can't really see any obvious differences it's selectable text so there Google's done all the hard work for us and we have beautiful custom typefaces Google fonts plus in five